Spain's banking problems move front and center, becoming a key driver of the latest decline in the euro. The country's move this weekend to effectually, effectively, excuse me, nationalize a regional bank has reignited concerns about the entire region. Sue Keenan is following that story. Sue? Well, Mark, the image of Spain as now having an effective bank failure has clearly touched off new concerns, particularly about the problems faced by many Spanish banks with property market exposure. Now, over the weekend, the Bank of Spain decided to take over regional savings bank Cajasur. That's after merger talks fell through. The bank lost the equivalent of 748 million or 426 euros in revenue last year. The Bank of Spain stepping up its efforts to either shut down or strengthen its weakest banks. The move signaling a big change as part of a state finance rescue plan. The Standard & Poor's estimates will cost as much as 35 billion euros. Now, in the case of Cajasur, the Roman Catholic priest who served as chairman of the failed savings bank began the most recent meeting with a prayer, but apparently finding financial solutions is going to take more than prayers. These Caja-type banks boosted the country's lending rate more than fivefold during Spain's economic boom, and they now account for roughly half the country's loans, Mark. And Sue, there are some who do view the weekend action as a sign of firmness, correct? Yes, but that they have to move is troubling. Currently, there are at least 16 savings banks either engaged in talks or already with single plans to merge. That's viewed as the solution, and that's according to the Spanish Savings Bank Association. Now, the problem is the view that the financial woes are spreading. According to PIMCO, which runs the world's biggest bank fund, U.S., Spain, and Greece are among developing nations whose borrowings put them in a, quote, ring of fire uh, in terms of uh, sovereign debt concerns. Now, Goldman Sachs chief Goldman economist uh, Jim O'Neill, we talked about parity at the top of the hour with Dom and Adam. He says the key question to ask going forward is, is the situation going to get a lot worse? He can't envision the same degree of bad news putting the euro at parity. It's just a sign of everything else that's going on, that people's emotion and, and degree of bearishness about EMU has become so big. I mean, that, that's 21, 22 percent away. I mean, that is a huge move. And, Mark, I'll have more on this uh, PIMCO view of the debt ring of fire, which not only involves the U.S., but the U.K., Japan, Italy, Portugal, a whole slew of countries. And that's the problem. All right. Sue Keenan joining us from the newsroom. Sue, thanks.